Next we're going to talk about how to do a complete network reset in Windows 10. It's actually fairly easy to do. Um, it's at the bottom of this Windows 10 uh, fixed network connection issues uh, support page. And I will of course put the uh, this link um, at the top of the description of this video. It's under fixed network connection issues in Windows 10. Um, my other videos go through pretty much every section here broken up by the uh, subsection. So let's crawl down to the bottom of this thing. If you've gotten to here, um, it's kind of the um, do or die moment. Um, it's the last thing that they suggest. Um, but hopefully if uh, you execute this correctly, um, maybe it'll fix your problem. Okay, they give um, a way to do this uh, here under this uh, uh, kind of uh, sub point one and two. They talk about uh, selecting the start button, settings, uh, uh, network and internet, and just clicking the network reset. Uh, this is fairly easy to do. One thing to be aware of um, is that you need to be running Windows 10 version 1607 and to see what version of Windows uh, you're currently running uh, all you have to do is do this. So let's do that real quick. We go over here to the start or the little blue Windows button in the corner and you can click on it and you click on the little gear here and then go to system and then you will go down to the bottom and hit about. So it was saying we needed 1607. Oh, uh, fortunately, we have that. Um, there's a lot of other information here, too. If you ever wanted to rename your PC at home to something more uh, inspiring other than Office Desktop, you can do that here. Um, you can also see a couple of other th useful things like um, are you running 32-bit or 64-bit? Um, uh, how much installed RAM you have? But the important thing right now is this little number, 1607, is what we need. So we're good to go here. If not, um, go over to Windows Update and um, try to get the latest update uh, on your computer. But if you are suffering through this page at this point, um, you probably don't have connection to the internet. Uh, one thing I would suggest is just to get a network cable, go directly to your wireless router, plug your computer um, into your wireless router directly with a with a Cat5 cable or something like that, and at least get uh, internet connectivity. So let's get let's do this next uh, step. Uh, step one is select the start button, which is our little blue window here. Um, let's go to settings, and then we're going to go over to network and internet, which is right here. <clears throat> And this is actually a pretty useful page. So you can go through and see if you've got a good network status. Um, it'll tell you if you're connected to the internet or not. You can see available networks. Um, you can go through and change your adapter settings, sharing options, the group options. Um, this is another spot that's good. Um, if you're having problems uh, with your internet and you haven't tried this yet, uh, click on the network troubleshooter and it will go through and uh, maybe detect some of the problems <coughs> excuse me, that you're having and reset them automatically. Um, what it does for the most part is just reset your wireless adapter. That seems to be its uh, run to mama thing. Uh, it sets that, uh, resets that, and asks it if it doesn't fix it, then it just dumps it back on you. Um, it can also trace down DNS issues, stuff like that. Some of the basic things to get you through um, some of the just surface level issues. It can kind of diagnose and correct. It's not bad. So let's get back to it. Um, let's go down here to the bottom. Uh, you click on network reset and uh, you're going to uh, read the warning here. Um, it's going to actually reinstall all your network adapters and it'll set them back to the original settings. So afterwards um, this may in some cases do more harm than good but if you're at your last straw and you're not really caring at this point what's going on, which I've been in that spot many of time, um, you'll hit reset now. Your PC will restart. It normally drops your adapters back and reinstalls them at the current driver level, the original driver level. And there's other, I have other videos in here and I'll, I'll put a link to the end to how to update your network driver and whatnot. 
Well, in some cases, this can reset it. If Windows has done an update and kind of uh, punched your network adapter around, uh, give this a shot. Good luck.